শুনবেন যারা দেখবেন এবং যারা দেখবেন বিশ্বের বিভিন্ন প্রান্ত থেকে সবাইকে জানাই শুভেচ্ছা আমি মোহাম্মদ কাজল আমেরিকা মেরিল্যান্ড স্কুলে জিয়ার রহমান ওয়াই থেকে আপনার থেকে জানাই শুভেচ্ছা এই উদ্বোধনী অনুষ্ঠানের প্রধান অতিথি হিসেবে আছেন আমাদের অবকার শহীদ রাষ্ট্রপতি জিয়ার রহমানের সুযোগ সন্তান জনাব তারেক রহমান ধন্যবাদ ও কৃতজ্ঞতা আজকের এই দিনটি বাংলাদেশি ইন্ডিকার কমিউনিটি আমি মোহাম্মদ কাজল দীর্ঘ ত্রিশ বছর যুক্তরাষ্ট্রে বসবাস করি বাংলাদেশে শহীদ বাংলাদেশের যে আন্তর্জাতিক বিমানবন্দর থেকে শুরু করে আমার এই শত ছলার দীর্ঘদিনের এই নামকরণটি করার জন্য আমাকে অনেকটাই অপেক্ষা করতে পারছে আর আমি মহান কাছে শুক্রিয়া আদায় করছি এই কাজে আমাকে সহযোগিতা করার জন্য ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি আমার পরিবারের সদস্যবৃন্দ একই সাথে বাংলাদেশ থেকে সবসময় আমাকে সহযোগিতা করেছে অধ্যাপক ধন্যবাদ <laughs> Today we got our uh today we got honored to have Mr. Anisul Rahman Anis Ahmed Governor Commission uh with us uh I would like to request Mr. Anis Ahmed to share some of uh, uh, his thought with us, please. Thank you. Mr. Anis Ahmed. It is my honor that we have very distinguished of merit here. The reason is that the democratic service of his faith named after Bangladesh, 
And today we are here to do that honor to that gentleman. We, the Bangladeshi people in America, choose to be there. Your family and make our next generation. Honor. We did it here in Bangladesh in America. We have a lot of money, a lot of citizens in Bangladesh here in America too. We need our family. We contribute our in every aspect of life, from the economy to business, to education, even for the decision. And it is my own. We the Bangladesh to contribute something in America by, and that is the big, biggest achievement. Today we are here in of a gentleman who supporters are in America, especially in this region. They are doing businesses, paying taxes to the government that they love, the country they choose to, and we start from that strength. And this one, one and another, owned by maximum landlords. What is the one? I mean, the experience of the owner, the owner, the contributor for this country, they are a contributor for the next generation and the conference. If we are ready to do everything for the country, if necessary, the call for the country, that is our sovereignty, sovereignty, and our sovereignty. Oh, we should make it. Today, we are here to distinguish uh, several distinguished people. One of them is Robin, uh, Robin Lewis. And by the way, Another important lady in the tradition is Purunga. Her name is Ruth Dyer. She is running for state under her position, which is the number third position in the state. If she couldn't come, but she can pay message to you, her support to the community. But we got another person from our state, who is Mr. Robin. Robin, I will say a few words about her. And then, why so much important? Robin was delegate in the district for his district, the same district as delegate Lyre. Master, she is Master. I mean, I mean, I mean, Africa, we have Mr. Harry Hunter, who is a very good friend of friend of many uh, many years, and I happen to know him uh, from several occasions. Uh, Mr. Mr. Uh, Hunter, he became visited uh, first an elected official. Ten years coming in. The good thing is that America gives us a So he not only think that he also can give. Now he is a very strong, very dynamic, very, uh, I would say, very positive minded delegate in Canada. He is also the vice chair of Asian Pacific American Pacific Conference. 
He and Robin Blue both are the same temple. Today, we the people in Maryland, what we see here, the equity in our health. They are the person that they did. So we must congratulate and give a big round of applause. And uh, Mr. Bandari, when she became legislative and a little official, it was not in the news in America, it was news in the whole world. She's the first Nepalese elected member of the Maryland or ever any other state in America. Mr. Bandari is a very good friend of me. When I reach him, he has called him. So as uh, uh, Ms. Lutz. I have another person I will uh, tell, Mr. Dr. Kirby, Dan Kirby. I mean, you know that I, I will I serve as a commissioner for two terms with the governor's commission, and I can do that much for two terms, but more than that. So, Mr. Kirby is now, he is the very, very important man with the governor's commission. He's a very important man with the governor's office. So, Mr. Dr. Kirby is here. I'm very proud that he, he attended my call. He is my back seat. Whenever I have a problem or we have a problem, we always talk to each other. Besides that, we are the member of the Maryland AFB Leadership Council. We are both members. So we always talk to each other. I don't want to do that for I will just give the mic for a few minutes, uh, for a few seconds to Dr. Kirky. A few words he will say on behalf of the Commission and the Governor's Office. Dr. Champion. Assalamu alaikum, good afternoon to everyone. To me, it's a great sense of pride to be invited to a historic occasion. This occasion is historic in the sense that, you know, we people who came to this country, we came here for the improving our life, and we have our children. We knew much more about our country's history, but our children who are here do not know much of our history. And today, by naming this street, now, on the name of all the freedom fighters, on the literature, few literature are known for question democracy, but this is this general GRM on the military and the democracy. So, from that perspective, this is something you want your children to know, you want your children to go through because all the part while you are here, our concern is look, we are here in the US, but we don't want our children to. Forget our culture, our history, our values, and by naming the street after the freedom fighter, after the fighter of democracy, you have established a legacy here. You have made sure that your children know where you came from and who you are proud of. It is something to be proud of. The people in Bangladesh must be looking, watching you, and must be very proud of you. And each and all of you, I think, they must be very proud of you because you have brought Bangladesh to the United States. From that perspective, you know, in, in Nepal, you say that you know, this event will enshrine in gold letters in the history of, of the immigrant from Bangladesh to the U.S. This was a great occasion. This is almost like a time where you mature the people from Bangladesh. They matured here because you have claimed that this is our country, but at the same time, we are know where we are from, and we are very proud of our history. We are very proud of what we have done. And I think it's a good history for every immigrant to learn, every immigrant from any other country to, to value their, uh, their motherland, to value their uh, leaders for the country. And from that perspective, I come back to all of you, and I'm very proud of you. And, and I think we'll be very proud of the submission. At the same time, I chair the Baltimore County API also, so I bring you greetings. Anybody who is interested in joining Baltimore County API, so contact me. I'm looking for people who want active. I chair the Bhutani and Nepali and all the Nepalese in this country also. So I bring good from everyone, and I'll take this message to my friends that look, we have to follow what Bangladesh is doing. It's a good thing to learn. Good thing to so I wish you good. I, I hope this is only starting of something good. And I think you will go very far on this road. And thank you very much.
Thank you, Dr. Karpi. What I wanted to say, he already told. So I don't need to say that much uh, what this occasion is about. Thank you, Dr. Karpi. Uh, one thing is that uh, I need to also mention my good friend uh, from New York. He, uh, his name is you know, uh, Mr. Diaz Ahmed. And he showed us the way in America. He's the first Bangladeshi American ran for the office in New York uh, for the state senate position. Thanks for coming over here. Uh, one another thing I need to uh, mention here, uh, uh, the late Jia Rahman's son, uh, Mr. Tarek Rahman, is on live right now. He's uh, with us. And thanks, Mr. Tarek Rahman, for attending with us. And this great occasion that your dad, what contributed to the country. Now we are recognizing that. We are very proud of it. And not very be happy to know that we are not only, we, we are not only happy. Uh, uh, so also, also, we are very happy that distinguished people from the Maryland General Assembly, they are here to recognize your father. Mr. Tariq Rahman, you can see us, but we can't hear what we hear to listen to it next time. Without further ado, I request my chief guest, uh, Mr. Handari. Harry Handari, you said you are this occasion, and you said, we are very honored. Uh, thank you, everyone. Uh, what a pleasure. And uh, it's, it's, uh, it's good meeting. Today is uh, uh, Father's Day, and Rahman must be very happy uh, with the commitment, uh, character, and confidence of his father that is inspiring all of us today. Uh, and thank you, uh, Anish, for uh, inviting me here. And I'm, I'm so glad to be, with, uh, to, to be among our um, of Bangladeshi of friends. So as the first Nepalese uh, American uh, elected officer, sometimes I feel like I don't just uh, represent my uh, district, uh, but uh, Nepalese people all over the world. Uh, when it's an immigrant, this, what I found about this country is, this country is not the well, wealthiest on earth, but this is the most generous country on earth. The of this country is our strength. And what you guys have been proving here is the right thing. Never forget your roots. That's very important. Like you can't be still Bangladeshi American, still you can do the great thing. That's the, that's the testimony here. And um, America. It's a melting pot. Yeah. 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 And the life, liberty, and pursuit of social happiness. And uh, the president who established a party, um, he did fight for freedom, free speech, free market, accountability, and the support system, and help for vulnerable people. It, it takes a lot of courage to help all the people. Anybody can help the richest people. The people who sac he sacrificed his life to help people, to build the country. He was assassinated. However, it doesn't matter. It does not matter if you don't like the road. Pave the new road. It doesn't matter in the long run. That's the that's the inspiration. And today, you know, building may change. This building may change, but the world never changed. That's important. So, as a vice president of Asian American Pacific Islander Caucus in the House of Delegates, I represent each of you, and I want to say to you today, you matter here. You matter in America. You are America. The voice is welcome. Your culture is valid and it is valued. And your history is respected. Bangladeshi history is an American history. This history should be taught. No matter where, university, there are a lot of Asian American studies, like in our 
Claxton University, your history, this road, this, uh, this all the freedom fighter should be taught in the curriculum. So our every teacher will have a sense of belonging. They will think that, oh, I'm part of this. There will be the sense of belonging and self, sense of respect. Anything I can do to help you, it will be my honor. And I will ask one more time. Thank you, um, Son Brahman. I mean, it, it's a, such an honor. It's such an honor. And I'm so very inspired when I was uh, reading uh, your Father Legacy, I was so inspired. Thank you, Anish. And thank you, everyone. It is not possible by one person. This is a collective, collective effort. And again, at the end, please run for office. Please run for office. It doesn't matter. Until and unless you don't, you keep on running, you never lose. You never lose. Run for office. You know, when I win, I want to inspire a little bit. I started working at a gas station 10 miles away from here. You know, this is the greatness of the country. And I won the elections. You know, the, my district is pretty much like 80% white districts, right? No, no minority has won any type of the elections, right? But I do. You know what? It doesn't matter what other people think about you. It matters what you think about yourself. That's important. That is very, very important. With these words, if there is anything I can do, please run for office, fight for education, like we could pass the bipartisan pandemic re release legislation. Thank you, Robin. 1.5 billion in tax relief and the stimulus for families and small businesses like everybody. That's very important. We could pass 2.2 billion for school construction where immigrant children, they go. If we give them the opportunity, they will give back to the community. And we could secure $2 million for our, you know, different, different projects. This is important. When you fight, when you run, then we could make more street and we could make everybody proud and inspired. This is important. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you. Uh, Mr. Pandari. Mr. Pandari. Well, you're really a leader. Because you suppose a lot of things that we for. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to ask the next person whose name is on the stone right now in America, in special America, who for you with the help of Mr. Bhandar, this equity, health equity passed. And already that Mr. Bhandar told that what the people are general thing is what they did. We can what they work for, we get them. Without further ado, I request as special guest, Robin T. Lewis, to say a few words that how proud that we are and how proud she is. Ladies and gentlemen, Robin T. Lewis. My name is Robin Lewis. I'm a state delegate here in Maryland. I serve with my wonderful colleague, Delegate Bakhtari. We serve on the same committee, the House Committee. And I'll tell you what, that work. More closer. Little bit uh, so, we have important work that we do together every year. The message I want to share with you is that democracy is a team sport. How many of you play football or played football when you were kids? You know, football is a team sport, so is democracy. And that is why we need you to continue to stand up for yourselves and the community. Because as long as you are participating in this democracy, we are stronger, we are safer, we look out for each other. Someone who's become my hero, a new hero, is President Ziaur Rahman.
democracy. He helped to show the way in Bangladesh, but also for all of us in the world. You know how sometimes when you're fighting and you're working hard, you get tired. You feel weary. You feel like your efforts, it doesn't matter. I'm so sorry for this. You get tired. You think your work doesn't matter. But then you remember there are lions and champions like President Obama who never stopped. Recently, I know he's in your hearts every day. I'm going to take him with you. I've never made a speech before. So, um, but I, I don't want to talk too long. What I want to say is it is an honor to stand with you. I want you to know that as an African American, I know what it's like to face difficulties, discrimination. I know what it's like to feel afraid. I know what it's like to have big dreams. Uh, I come from a family of people with big dreams. And so I know you can achieve them. I also know that we are stronger together. And that as long as I am here as your, as a, your delegate, I will continue to work for you. Uh, let me say one more word about the importance of President and why he's my hero. He's the man, the lion, the champion, who opened the door for our democracy in Bangladesh. A hero like George Washington or Martin Luther King who gave his life for others and showed a model for how to lead without fear. One thing I learned about President Rahman that touches my heart because I'm a public health person. He increased irrigation and increased the productivity of agriculture in Bangladesh so that the country can feed itself. You, know, you gotta have food to be healthy. That was really important. And I believe that building a, an irrigation infrastructure like that, it's a gift to the future. It's a gift to the next generation. What I want to do in my life, with my work, is to build something for the next generation. And I hope that you will join me um, as we work to make this country live up to its promise. What is that promise? That all men and women are created equal. And that all men and women are have their creators, their gods, um, support to live the best life that they can. Uh, I'm going to finish there. I want to honor and thank Mr. Tariq Rahman, the son of President Rahman, to join us today. Your presence is a blessing. It is a blessing for all of us and will carry your spirit. Thank you so much. It is such an honor to be with you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you. I, I, uh, give the mic to our host, our, uh, our dancing. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Our honorable guest, Mr. Anis Ahmed, Mr. Henry ben, uh, Mr. Harry ben, uh, Banari, Ms. Robin T. Lewis, and Simon Kadri. Thank you so much. And then, and your kind, amazing word was, uh, it really means a lot of us. A big round of approach, Mr. Olaf, please. Thank you. Hello. Today we got got the uh, got the special guest, Mr. Mr. Ansari. Mushpikul Ansari with us. I like to request Mr. Ansari to share some of uh, his thought with us, please. Thank you.
Thank you. It's a great day. And I would like to congratulate Mr. Kajol who make it happen. And I was uh, very much impressed by the speech of a uh, member of the city council, Ms. Robinson. And she mentioned President Zia Rahman. Maryland. Maryland General Assembly, thank you for correcting me. And she rightly mentioned why Zia Rahman name is in the Maryland. We are, President Zia Rahman is not a leader of Bangladesh. He was the leader of the world. So I would like to congratulate again that you recognize a world leader like President Zia Rahman. And here with us, his eldest son and leader of Bangladesh, Mr. Tarek Rahman, in virtually he's joining and he's listening to you. Obviously, he will give his remarks and he will acknowledge. But I want to just quote from the Washington Post how they made a victory after the presidency of Rahman. The Stuart our but the famous journalist of the Washington Post, he passed away just a few years back, 35 years he was with the Washington Post as executive editor and editor at large. He's mentioning his obituary that President Zia Rahman, I am quoting from him, his, mention, his title was President Zia has reputation as Bangladesh number one motivator. 10 years ago, in March 28, 1981, he's mentioning 10 years ago today, an obscure army major named Zia Rahman proclaimed to the world over a captured radio station, Bangladesh Independence. Now, Zia, a retired general in Bangladesh president, the 45th year old father of two runs, and energetic presidency in which at least 20 days a month he travels by the helicopter to remote bay village to to the people to gather efforts in population control farm years and the digging irrigation canals he was scores lazy bureaucrats he also scores lazy bureaucrats for falling to the things done so zia appeared to force to it's a long obituary but how you are you can everybody see the president jimmy carter and president zia rahman is here yeah. president zia rahman was the first president who paid state visit in the white house and received by the jimmy carter and that time the diplomatic relation between us and you bangladesh started so zia rahman name is not only in baltimore his name is in chicago his name is in Ankara, his name is the Bahrain. So all over the world, the people of the world recognizing President Zia Rahman. Lastly, I quote from the President Reagan when President Zia Rahman assassinated by the few, you know, the, the culprits, I should say, in the 30th May, we observe the, his, his uh, you know, the Shahadat Parshiki in Bengali, we said. So, the President Reagan said in his obituary about President, President Reagan said, shocked and deeply grieved over the assassination, assassination, assassination of President Zia Rahman of Bangladesh. I was shocked and deeply grieved to the land of the assassination of President Zia Rahman. Reagan wrote a letter and he said, the United States, indeed the world had come to respect President Zia's profound and, and compassionate commitment to better life for his people and his dedication to the role of law. So his wisdom in international affairs will be surely missed. I am confident that the people of Bangladesh are united in their, demonst their demonstration to assure that the stability and progress of recent years will survive the tragedy. So this is how President Reagan, you know, described President Zia Rahman, not only that the, at the time, British, British Prime Minister, Prime Minister Mrs. Thatcher, you know, long, a long obituary in the, his condolence message, about 93 head of the state and head of the, head of the government expressed their condolences. And that's why President Zia Rahman, till today, He's a popular leader, not only in Bangladesh, all over the world. Thank you very much for this wonderful event. 
and thank you Anisba and all, all others and the Lina who are you know uh, who are moderating this event and obviously we will we are eagerly waiting to hear from our leader Mr. Tarek Rahman thank you very much thank you so much Mr. Ansari for your kind amazing word to uh, those really means a lot to us a big round of applause Mr. Ansari please I wanted to request our distinct, distinguished uh, guests to come forward to reveal the new street sign, Zia Rahman. সামনে থেকে সরতে হবে প্লিজ আপনাদের সামনে থেকে পিছনে যান আপনারা সামনে থেকে একটু সরতে হবে সময় এবং এখনই উদ্বোধন করা হবে যে আমাদের সামনে উপরে কেউ একটু হাত দিবেন এই ল্যাপটপের এইখানে একটু শেড দেন কেউ যদি একটু শেড দেন জায়গা দিলেন প্লিজ প্লিজ মজদুভাই সরেন প্লিজ প্লিজ আপনার একটু 
যার জন্য আমরা এতটা দিন ধরে ওয়েট করেছিলাম আপনারা কি ওখানে যারা আছেন আমার কথা কি শুনতে পাচ্ছেন ক্যান ইউ হেয়ার মি আপনারা কি আমার কথা শুনতে পাচ্ছেন ক্যান ইউ হেয়ার মি এখন ক্যান ইউ হেয়ার মি বিসমিল্লাহ রহমান রহিম লেডিজ অ্যান্ড জেন্টলম্যান মেম্বার্স অফ দি মেরিল্যান্ড বাংলাদেশি কমিউনিটি ফ্রেন্ডস অ্যান্ড ওয়েল উইশেস মেম্বার্স অফ দি হাউস অফ ডেলিগেটস মিস্টার হ্যারি ভান্ডারি মিস Robin T. Lewis, Assalamu alaikum and a very good afternoon to you all. I'm deeply honored uh, by the Maryland Bangladeshi community uh, initiation of Ziyara Manwe, an honorary road in the memory of my late father, President Ziyara Man. Uh, both I and my family members thank all those who took the time and effort to initiate this gesture great gesture i must say and everyone involved in making this possible my father late president zia rahman proclaimed bangladeshi independence with the dream of establishing the political economic and civil rights of the people of bangladesh against the atrocities of west pakistani authorities at the time to stand against tyranny operation and discrimination against our people 
late zero one with these values in mind following the inception of bangladesh as an independent country later initiated the transition from one party rule to full to full fledged multi party democracy allowing the people of a new nation to elect their executive leaders late zero roman during his presidency worked closely with the united states an important development partner of bangladesh president zia officially visited the united states at the invitation of president carter he was an admirer of the free world and was always supportive of the global interaction and economic integration for peaceful engagement with the nations across the world it was at president zaroman's initiation the textile industry took shape in bangladesh through economic liberalization of the economy the global markets like the us were given access to bangladeshi governments to enter the global market sadly zaroman was assassinated in 1981 with it stalling many of the dreams and value he envisioned for the country but his legacy lives on however it is for all of us gathered here today and those watching across the globe to uphold the spirit of zaroman's vision for bangladesh and use his memory to enlarge engage in good regardless of where we are in the world i especially would like to thank farhana luna mohammad kajol for coordinating this initiative today i would also like to extend my thanks to mr anis ahmed for his assistance to the maryland bangladeshi community and the work he does with the bangladeshi diaspora communities ladies and gentlemen dear brothers and sister in the bangladeshi community of maryland members of the house of delegates it has been my immense pleasure and honor to join you today for the inauguration of ziar roman bay i wish you all every success for the future and hope our paths will cross again in shaping a democratic bangladesh where people's rights prevail i thank you all again assalam alaikum I think we are almost uh, concluding this uh, event. Uh, the con at the conclusion, uh, one 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 request to all Bangladeshi community: They are the elected officials. They are working for us. It is our duty to make them again the elected officials. It is we the people. And without going to the poll to vote, they cannot get elected, and they cannot speak on behalf of us. And secondly, with the rich people here or whatever resources we have, please help them because in America, election goes by donation. Whenever all this election official comes to you, and please open your heart, open your pocket too. And with that. by by speech is concluded and let's uh, going to the mc thank you so much everyone now i like to thank mr zilu rahman mr kia sahmed mr shafa shafat husain babu mr mizanur rahman milchan Mr. Kamal Pasha Babu, Mr. Jahangir Uddin Babu, Salaudin Ahmed, Mr. Subir 
Mr. Palash. Mr. Salim. Mr. Swayed uh, Rahman. Mr. Uh, Jam uh, Jamal Ahmed. Mr. Mansoor Hussain. Mr. Mustaq Ahmed. Nasir Ahmed. Mr. Nasir Ahmed. Mr. Humayun Kabir. Mr. Abu Tahir. Mr. Mutahar Hussain, Mr. Anwar Hussain, Mr. Joshim Huya, Mr. Shahid Khan, Mr. Afzalur Baula Manu, Mr. Mahfuzur Rahman, Mr. Gulam Hussain, MG Babul Mia. MD Bachumia, Shohid Zia Rahman and Name, Rasta Utpodane Ustiti Nam, Dr. Nozrul Amin Palash, Jonab Mutahar Hussein, Jonab Saidur Khan, Jew, Jonab Bachumia, Jonab Nasir Ahmed. Janab Jamalur Rahman Chodhuri, Janab Muhammad Mahabubur Rahman Ridu, Janab Kausar Ahmed, Janab Mukti Chodha Golam Hussain, Janab Jakir Hussain, and Janab Zohid Khan. I want to thank everyone to come today in this honorable and then historical situation and this, this moment. Thank you everyone again. President. Shahid Bhai ke, Kilim Bhai ke, Nijanar Rahman, Shukho Hamadir, Meridan Kumiki, Shabai ke, Abang Washington Thikhe, Dara Ashishan, Aapna, Aami Onekir, Onekir Naam Bola Se, Aamadir Aamsi, Aami Dunnubad Dara Chhe, New York Thikhe, Egyptian Thikhe, New York Thikhe, New York Thikhe, Abu Sayyid Ahmed, Jahangir Hassan, Abdul Shabud, Shahadan Ahmed, and Puri, লিডার আমাদের সদ্দাবাজন বাংলাদেশের তারুণ্যের প্রতীক জনাব জিয়ার রহমান জনাব জিয়ার তারিকুর রহমানকে আমার পক্ষ থেকে মেরিল্যান্ড বাসীর পক্ষ থেকে ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি আপনি কষ্ট করে শত ব্যস্ত কাল মাঝে আমাদের সাথে জয়েন করার জন্য আপনাকে আন্তরিকভাবে ধন্যবাদ আমরা কৃতজ্ঞতা প্রকাশ করছি মেরিল্যান্ড বাসীর পক্ষ থেকে ধন্যবাদ আপনারা ভালো থাকবেন ঠিক থ্যাংক ইউ সালামুকুম Thank you very much to everyone. Assalamualaikum.